Okay guys, I'm back. Let me put on a few lights. And um, what I uh, really want to start off with is that the whole paint density thing. Because there's been so much talk about paint density. So, I thought I'd get me a little cheap canvas. Get some black. And... <coughs> Sorry I lost my white, but I got my white. So I got black and white. I have my pellet knives. I have a cheap canvas just for the sake of experiments. And um, the thing is uh, what that paint density um, talk is about. It's about the pigments that are put in the paint to make the color. So here I have zinc white. It's not the titanium white, but the zinc white. It is the heaviest of paints. And then here we have lamp, lamp black. There is one uh, black that is just a little bit lighter, but this is, these are the most opposites of the densities as you can get. So what they're saying is that if you use um, the paint density, you will get cells. So this is watered down. I've got a pouring medium in here and a little bit of water to about, I think, 10 or 15 percent of water. That this is the max that you can uh, that that you can do. So they say that when you pour the black like that, I won't tilt it so it thins out or anything like that. But then they say when you put the white on top you get instant cells. So, I'm gonna pour it off here. Put it over the top. Just put that off there. Okay, so now we have the heaviest on top and it should sink through the black but it's not doing that. So then we can manipulate it a little bit like that. And you don't, don't look at this because that was uh, where it wasn't fully covered. This is the bit you have to look at. And there are some bubbles in the paint from uh, stirring the paint, but you are not seeing any, any cell forming, nothing coming through. The, the white isn't pouring, pulling through the black. Or the black isn't coming up it's just not doing that so that was what I was talking about now if we because I've, I've you know when I started doing this the acrylic pouring I started it because I saw a work of uh, a really really good artist and I just wanted to do that so what I did is I started reading like everything I could about you know, mixing paint and doing everything. And I, I, I did have, um, um, I went to, to the University for Arts, so I did know the basics, but you know, the, I could find nothing about it on internet, except for um, the accidental paint technique that there is a video of where you see that that uh, black and white and you see it all bubbling. I know it's uh, a little bit faster. The um, See what you see here now, these these few dots, they're only those paint, the bubbles in the paint that burst. So that is not what we're looking for. But if you were to water down your paint, and I'm talking really watering it down, So, that is watered down, and I'm not sure if this is, ooh, this is pretty thin, yeah, just a little bit more. And what I should do is get something to contain the paint. Let's see. Yeah, I can, I can use one of my clay, uh, clay things, I hope. Okay, so now we're going to pour in the black. 
and then we're going to pour the white on top of it. And now you see that the white is going down, down to the bottom. And you can see that because the white is heavy, it's going down and the black is up on top because of that paint density. And if I were to really do this, I'll show you. See how that now, the white does stuff. Here you get some, and I don't call these cells, I call this um, the blooming of the paint. So this is what a lot of people will do online to show you some amazing stuff. And it's really not that amazing. And I'll tell you why, because um, it might be a little hard to hear, but um, when you water down this paint, if you water it down that much, like I did right now to get these uh, reactions, what you're doing is you're breaking down the paint. And of course I want you all to be happy with things you do. And if, if doing this makes you happy, I say more power to you and you just do that and, I don't know, you hang it on your wall because you, you had a, a really fun time and you really liked the, what happened with the paint and it gave you a good feeling and all kinds of stuff because, you know, that's what art should be. It should make you happy and if this makes you happy, it makes you happy. But when you're going to uh, learn how to do acrylic pouring and you want to go over there and you want to go to some sort of art show and you want to sell your paintings, then you can't do this. Because when you break down the paint that much with so much water that you get this reaction, then you're selling something that, you know, it might, it might stay good for, I don't know, five years, eight years, ten years, but eventually it's going to be not good because the paint wasn't made to be thinned down that much. You know, it's just not made for that. And if you can see, the, the black pretty much took over, but if you can uh, see, it is, it is pretty. It's sort of like marble. And uh, maybe if, um, if I put a little bit more paint in there on top, you would really like it. Let's see, let's do that one more time. Like that. And what you're seeing there, that is the one that I, um, that's, that's what they're talking about. See if I do that. Now I have to say the last white I added, I did put silicone in because I'm going to do a pour in a bit. So, uh, see it's all, all pretty, all nice, all works. Let's make something out of this. And once it's dry, I bet you, you'd really like it. You know, you might even uh, think it's very, very pretty to put on a wall. But that's okay. If, if, if it's for yourself, you should just go for it. I say, you know, just do it. If it makes you happy, do it. But yeah, I don't think you can sell it because that's just the person I am. I don't think you can sell this because uh, you have thinned out that paint so much that you've uh, made the binder, you know, so thin. And you can even see it. Yeah, you've got to get really, really up close. But you can see where the uh, paint is separating. And this is a pretty piece. I can tell you right now, I, I really just love it. And I should be really doing something else with it because we have a challenge on our Facebook group about black, white, and one color. And of course I go for the turquoise. And this, this is pretty, and you can play with this sort of a paint, and you can have a good time. But please don't sell this stuff, people, because, you know, you can't do that. It's, it's, not, it's not honest for the, uh, for the people buying it. Because they're thinking, you know, they're buying something for, to put on their walls for a long time. And then, you know, when, 
when it does all go go to go to shit, you know, they'll uh, they'll be left with a painting that you know they can do nothing with because it's way too thin. Okay, enough about that. I just thought I'd um I would uh, clear that up a little bit. You know, unless you uh, put some additives in your paint, you will not be able to do anything like this because you can't get the paint thin enough or you go to a different brand where you have paint that is really, really thin right right out of the bottle. But I, I think you would be looking at sort of inks or something. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be something you could try if you really like this. So that was it. I'm gonna put this one away. And I should really clean up this mess first, and that's what I'm gonna do. So um, there are a lot of people that you know. Once your 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 channel gets to almost eleven thousand subscribers, I have uh, almost four thousand on my Facebook group. I have over two thousand on the on Instagram. You know, when you're dealing with that many people, you're gonna get people that are gonna be upset about something you said or something you did or I don't care. You know, people. I do this because I enjoy uh, myself painting. And um, there's only one thing that I want to keep in my videos and everything I communicate is to be honest about um, what paint can tolerate and what paint can't tolerate. And I know that, that adding that little bit of silicone, because it, it comes to the surface and you wipe it off, it, it, it creates those cells. But once it's um, done that, you know, when you put the, the torch over it, it all comes to the surface and you can just see it if you let it dry and you put it in the light you can see all the silicone on top so I'm pretty confident that if you varnish a piece like that and you've kept your paint thick enough that you don't break the binder then it's good enough to sell but I don't like showing things to you guys and knowing that you know in a 10 years it's gonna break apart the paint is gonna go terribly wrong, gonna go cracking, it's gonna go matte. I don't want to do that because I think if you buy a piece, uh, an, an art piece, that you want to enjoy it for as long as you can. And you have to be totally honest with with how you're making it, with what you're putting in it, and a, a person that wants to buy your art has to know what they're buying. <clears throat> if I'm thinning down that paint that much, like you just saw on that black and white one, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I don't feel that I'm honest and I want to, I want to stay honest. That's all I have to say about it. So I'm going to stop this one, clean the mess up and give you guys a beautiful pour in a minute. So bye-bye.